Hi, this is Premjit from Sevilara.com. So in this module, let us discuss column rebar detailing. I will be discussing all the rules needed for column rebar detailing. Let us look at the code provisions here. So as per IS 456.26.5.3, you are required to give 0.8% as the minimum steel for the cross section but please note that this is for the required area of the concrete and not for the actual provided area what it means is in case you have a column say 230 by 230 and say the load on that is hardly say 100 or even say 50 kilonewtons and say the direct stress can be taken the direct force can be taken by say 100 by 100 size you don't need 230 by 230 because the load is so less but you are giving a minimum size of 230 by 230 so in such a situation the 0.8 percentage is not for 230 by 230 it's for the required size the required cross section needed for taking that direct force so that is something which you need to look at many times you do rationalization of the sizes say for example if a building has 10 columns and all the nine columns are say 300 by 300 and one column you got 200 by 200 many times you would look at increasing it into 300 by 300 itself so that rationalization when you do in the sizes please note that what you need is 0.8 percentage of the required size the maximum percentage of steel is 6 percentage as per the code but then code recommends 4 percentage when there are lapping of rebars in all projects you will have lapping of rebars and hence 4 percentage is recommended by the code we generally go from 3 to 4 percentage because if it's more than that it is always an economic as well so 3 also is a little higher maybe 2.5 to four in a worst case that's what we generally give in projects and minimum number of rebars in a rectangular column shall be four and in a circular column it has to be six so these are all basic detailing rules the bars shall not be less than 12 millimeter in diameter so that's another close as per is 456 26.5.3 so these are all basic rules the essential rules you can go and have a look at this close and understand that better there might be some more extra clauses there but as a beginner it might not be really really essential so i'm skipping some of them one more rule that you might like to have is the maximum spacing between ray bars so it should not exceed 300 millimeter so what it means is if you have a rectangular column then if you provide say 425 like this and if the size is say 600 then this may not be the ideal detail because the spacing is much more than 300 which is not allowed so the better detail would be to increase the number of bars by reducing the diameter so maybe you put one or two bars in each face so that the spacing becomes less than 300 so that is also mentioned in the same close now let me tell you some more rules that will help you to detail columns more comfortably. Now I would recommend you to keep this clear spacing between rebars not less than 40 to 50 millimeter. 50 is better. The reason is that there should, shouldn't be congestion so that the aggregates can go between the rebars. So this is quite essential that you carefully understand this and then arrange the rebars in that manner so the code says that the spacing can be 25 mm if you look at the closest but i have already explained in another module that if it is 25 the problem is sometimes the aggregates might be slightly more than 20 mm or you might be lapping rebars which will create issues in congestion so i recommend it to be a bit more than that so the rule is you decide your number of bars based on the spacing so two things when you decide the number of bars one is your maximum spacing and one is your minimum spacing so in a 450 by 200 column probably you will be able to put five bars on each face you, you can calculate that once more and if you think you can put six in each face go ahead with that but now in this detail i'm showing with fine number of ray bars 
five in one face that's what i mean so when you decide the number of bars and the clear spacing please remember that the clear cover to main ray bar is 40 and based on the diameter of the ray bar you decide the clear spacing so keep it around 40 to 50 so that is my rule number one for making your detailing more easier rule number two your detail should be symmetric about both the axes so you cannot do some of these and you can do some of these so i'll tell you in this so assuming that red color is one type of rebar say 25 and blue color is say 20 or any other diameter this cannot be done because it is not symmetric about the vertical axis now the second detail this also not possible because it is not symmetric about this axis this one again not possible because here you have four numbers here you have two numbers it's not symmetric even sometimes you can put three bars in this phase when you have this dimension say 230 or even 300 sometimes you will be able to put three rebars in this face so this is also not possible because you have no symmetry in this axis three here three here two different diameters so you should have symmetry if you look at these are possible because this is now symmetric about both the axis this is symmetric about both the axis you have two here two here larger diameter and then you have the symmetry inside as well this is also possible you have four four and two in the middle smaller diameter this also is fine because you have two larger diameter a smaller diameter two larger diameter and a smaller diameter inside so even that is symmetric about both the axes. i say this is possible even having three larger diameter here is also possible so that's same as the other one symmetric about both the axis so this is also acceptable i'll sketch one more detail which many students ask me if that is possible that is having a smaller diameter in the corner and having a larger diameter in the inside faces now this is also not preferred because it is always better you have your corner bars as the larger diameter so i prefer to avoid even this the larger diameter should be at the corners and the inner diameter should be the lesser diameter preferably i will try to add a few more tips in the subsequent videos which will make your work a bit more easier